Hurry, if you don't like this video in the next 5 seconds, and none will be outside your window tonight, so like it up. If you're looking to buy some cheap and quick MT coins with cheap prices on every single console, you gotta visit NBAMTstore.com. They've been in the community for years and literally has hundreds of reviews, and big content creators like JC make videos on them all the time. Click the first link in the description to get your MT today, and make sure you guys use code SIS. What's going on guys, it's your boy Sis there and I'm back again man, This my grind is not stopping anytime soon, back again with another video for you guys and in today's video I'm basically going to be showing you guys the best badges for the slashing 4 build in general and you know we're going to start off with a good gameplay um and yeah so i basically killed these people like i'm a, i'm like i i destroyed them basically so you can see right here i have my six seven zion 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 williamson build um speed boosting by the way he can speed boost and he has elite contact dunks you will see everything in this gameplay um it's just one video one game of me just destroying kids playing terrific defense as you can see right there and you know taking over the park I hit SS1 this game and it's just you know it felt really nice and look at that big body out don't like I said six seven I'm six foot seven all right so boom it's already six zero I have six points because you know you already know man it was it, double rep just ended this was the game after double rep so you know I, I was kind of upset that I didn't hit it because I had work to uh the whole day i literally had work i only had three hours to play double rep and you know I, I i still got some rep on me but you know didn't hit it on the actual double rep nine to zero right now i have six points still um three rebounds and zero assists which is fine and you know of course guys you guys gotta trust me when it comes to these zion williamson builds because boom he hit his shot but like i said i have a terrific defense with this player if you guys want to play with me just all you gotta do is just add me eternal says the yt it's 12 to 3 right now i'm not playing up because i know none of them can shoot i don't trust any of the jump shots especially my man since he is an inside player just like i am and you know it's just the, these guys are really much like they have zero chemistry with each other i get the easy contest get the board pass that out he has a shot he didn't shoot it and then i set myself uh, set him a little screen lob in boom it's so easy we have really good chemistry with each other other we, we you know what i'm saying on defense on offense we know how to play the game of nba 2k21 now you can see me right here trying to set a screen uh i tried to do an off ball he didn't want it so i set an on ball easy three he didn't take it but he ended up passing lobbing it and then make letting me have the shot off appreciate that bro um my, my my man almost dunked him, you're not gonna lie. But here I am with my takeover. Look at that beautiful lob. I've never seen anything like that. I was actually so surprised because he threw it so like the lob so bad. And then my man just made up my like my player made up for it completely by doing that beautiful beautiful lob Mwah. so you know 12 points another lob dunk on him it's 20 to 3 right now and you know i have 14 points he's still trying to score they're all trying to score they're not scoring on me man they're not scoring and they're not getting the rebound i decided to not uh finish the game i wanted my man to, uh my teammate to get the ball and finish it but then i was obviously open for the lob so you know 16 points five rebounds zero assists now here I am on my Zion Williamson build without a shirt. Now, uh, let's just take a moment and see how big my Maya player is. 300 pounds, 6'7". Like, it's kind of insane that I can speed boost. But, you know, that's just how the game looks and is. Uh, so, starting off, I'm going to show you guys my progression. Now, I did lose my 98, my 99 overall and went down to a 98. Just because we were playing so much comp today. And, you know, while trying to hit uh, SS1 with lobs. A lot of comp. And, you know, I, I had to dedicate my games to screens instead of scoring myself. But, you know, right there, ball handle 74. But I can speed boost with takeover at a 74 ball handle. Plus that, because, you know, that plus 5, plus 6, whatever. So, you can see right here, I have 18 shooting badges. But I'm only going to show you guys the finishing, ba 18 finishing badges, sorry. And I'm only guys, I'm only going to show you guys the finishing badges just because that's what the title of the video is. So, you can see all of my badges right here. Contact finisher on Hall of Fame. Now, this improves the ability to convert contact dunks and let contact lips and traffic now 
you know, automatically you have to put that on Hall of Fame. Now I'm gonna show you guys what not to do as well and what to do to get more contact dunks. And then also slash it says slashers who play below the rim finish contact layups more successfully while dunkers are able to pull off more contact dunks now i'm a dunker so you know it helps me out a lot i love this badge and it helps out a lot now i used to put on a lob city finisher on hall of fame and relentless finisher on silver but then i just flip flopped it because lob city finisher is not really gonna do anything on hall of fame uh lob city finisher on silver is just the same as hall of fame so make sure you guys at just max that out on the silver you don't need it on gold or anything else just lob city finisher on silver relentless finisher although you need hall of fame now it says you can see right here finishing at the rim with contact so this increases your con chances of going up for contact dunks as well as contact finisher you don't need any other badge besides relentless finisher but you know obviously uh, i have 18 so i kind of have to but you can see right here it's just a beautiful thing showtime i used to not put on showtime at all this is basically a boost to give my teammates because you know i don't play i don't play the 1v1 court i obviously I need Showtime, and you know, Showtime is very, very helpful for my teammates, especially if I can ISO and they can just chill out and get their takeover like that. Slithery finisher this is to avoid contact when attacking at the rim. This is just in case you know those big lockdowns or rim protectors try to guard me, and it's just not gonna happen with Sizda, not gonna happen with Eternal Sizda, man. But, um, yeah, not on the badges that you guys do not want. Okay, so this is, I used to have consistent finisher on Hall of Fame. You do not want consistent finisher on Hall of Fame, okay? The reason for that is because it goes up with more layups and less dunks. So obviously, more layups and less dunks, you're not going to go for as much contact dunks, even though you want to. Same thing with fancy footwork, you don't need it. And I don't, I, I think about it. Do you guys ever do Euros? cradles hop step spin half spin do you guys ever do that let me know down in the comment section the only thing i do close to that is a hop step and i do it perfectly without fancy footwork because i know how to time it and i know how to use it on certain occasions giant slayer I used to keep it on silver but then i figured out that it makes you do more layups for some reason because you can see right there helps the effectiveness of layups over taller defenders so that means if people who are taller that means they're going for more layups so i don't really want that at all i want more dunks no matter who i'm guarding no matter who's guarding me and yeah so pro touch is basically for 1v1 court deep range but yeah oh we're gonna go on from the very very top back down punisher i never use slashing fours do not use this at all please all right, guys, it's not going to work. Uh, trust me, guys. Trust me. Consistent finisher, like I said, we already talked about that. Um, cross key score boosts the shot percentage of layups going in more. You don't want to do that when it, because it goes counts as more layups, uh, layup attempts rather than contact dunks uh, attempts. Fast break finisher is actually not a bad badge. Um, it's basically like showtime, but for yourself. And you know you guys can shoot it depends on you but I'm not gonna put it on fancy footwork same thing as how I said earlier drop stepper I don't really go for drop steps I haven't gone for a single drop step this entire year so nope deep hooks is really good for this build actually um no I have a 50 D uh, like 50 post hook so it's really good no matter what with Hall of Fame and pro touch on Hall of Fame on the 1v1 core you just go straight up for hooks the whole entire game and it works perfectly on um, putback boss like I said I don't really see a point in using putback put back boss unless you want to be flashy um I do not put this on trust me guys do not put on putback boss unless you're really really going for some putbacks and I never went for a putback this year teardropper like I said hitting floaters and runners floaters are really hard to like go for in this game in NBA 2k21 so you know it's kind of you know hard and it makes you go up with more layups now i'm going to show you guys my record because you know that's the thing that i do on my channel 505 and 92 you know it's just a progress thing that i'm trying to show you guys and you can see right here superstar 1 1.7 percent to ss2 now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like subscribe turn on notifications look at my beautiful zion williamson build man so inspirational but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video y'all peace Mwah,